break your Bible into two for me. To Luke chapter number 24. Mm. Luke chapter number 24. Verse number 4 to 18. And it came to pass where they were perplexed. Day after behold, two men stood by them in days in the pier. And as they were frightened and bowed down their faces to the earth. And they say unto them, the day now is speaking about the two men. What seek the living amongst the dead? He is not here. But his reason, remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in garden, saying that the Son of Man must be delivered on, must be delivered up into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again, and they remember. Have your seat. Whenever I'm reading from the Gospel of Luke, I'm very intentional about it because of the writer. I repeat, whenever I'm reading from the Gospel of Luke, I'm intentional about it because of the writer. You see, the man who wrote the Gospel of Luke was one of the disciples of Jesus but never showed up to be the disciple of Jesus. In the school of theology, they refer to him as the greatest art witness that I've ever lived. He was always amongst the multitude, but was never amongst the twelve. Till even after the death of Jesus, he was still with the disciples of Jesus. So there. It is proven in the Bible that there are two books written by Dr. Luke. One of the books is Luke the Gospel. The second is the Acts of the Apostle. And the reason I'm intentional about his reading because whenever you hear in any of his writings that this person were healed, it means they were healed. Because he was a professional doctor. So that means he would not just make a mere statement without a check. Are you with me? Are you with me? He would not make a mere statement without a check. It means if the person were healed, Dr. Luke went and checked them and they were actually healed. So when he placed it in his writings, it means it is authenticated. Now, why am I saying this to you? Because I want you to know that what he has recorded in what we are about to look at is authenticated. I watched a detective movie. I forget the name. The movie, there was a party being held in a very huge story building. And on the the bargaining or whatsoever you call it, somebody left their fiance in the party and said they want to go up to the bargaining and they were making a call and the person got killed. When this, the literature or the person who is writing the literature 
wants to expand the story will not show you the face that killed. And the reason they will do that, they want you to know the process of how those detectives use their skill to gather information. And the girl was killed on the rooftop. But nobody got to know that she was killed. Until the fiance now discovered that his wife who went, or his fiance who went up the back of the has still long than usual. He went there now and saw that she was lying in her own blood. It will shock you to know that police came around and they gave the case to one female detective. It took her one year to find who killed that girl. It took her how many years? So in the word of in the legal world, there is no case without an evidence. You can now accuse anybody. That is why every case that ever went to court, they have never charged you guilty. Or they will not say this man is a criminal. They will say he's an alleged criminal. Meaning the fact has not been established that he's a criminal. Are you with me? They were alleged me. We don't have a proof to stigmatize this man that he's a criminal. So let me speak to you this morning on what I've been talking to. We've got the evidence. Knock somebody and say, we've got the evidence. No, do it better. Shake them. Say, we've got the evidence. All through my life as a believer, I have cried to God for something so. And that thing is called evidence. And the simple definition for evidence is proof. It's what? Proof. Once upon a time, Jesus will stand in the temple and say, break this temple. And in three days, I will build even though we are aware that one of our former presidents said we will put a mansion down and she will build it in six months. And small electrical problem called on it. She didn't build it after 12 years. After 12 years, she left it like that. But this is not in the case of what we are about to share. How did I come up that we've got the evidence? It means there are many people who are yet to believe. Oh, let me see you. The Muslim that so much hate Christianity, even themselves are aware that we've got the evidence. The pagan who are claiming to be there is no God will one day realize that we've got the evidence. There was a man in science that we all learn about the called the Charles Darwin and he invented something called the Charles Darwin theory and it's a theory of evolution where he came and said he believed that every man came from Japan Sea. When Japan Sea gets old a transfigured to human being. But one day, after all of his studies, he sent some scientists in space and on the planet called Mars, where no scientists can go, they used their telescope. The telescope is that long kind of Substance what you can see from a distance. And they saw insects with wings in the form of human beings and they were flying all in mass. And they came back and said, where men can go, we see insects there. It means that God exists. I'm coming to where I want to go. Every one of us I want you 
to understand is that you have to walk and lift your hair up high. The only reason you have to do that because you got the evidence. Now, I want to cut this thing short and we are moving on here. Our God did not leave in the grave. The last time I checked, Muhammad will die and he will not come back. And I also understand that Muhammad in this Quran will also acknowledge that Jesus died, but he raised. And this same Jesus is coming to judge everyone. I don't know how you are living. Some said a dead God, but we don't say the dead God. We have the evidence that our God died and on the damn day he rose from the dead can I prophesy to somebody because Jesus did not live in the grave everything that is holding you down everything that has tormented your life I'm telling you tonight is coming now of Jesus kept in their heart the thing that Jesus said to them that on the third day I will come back so they decided to authenticate what he has said in other words they decided to prove what he has said early in the morning the early in the morning we may not know the time some theologians say it was around 6 no I don't know I cannot be exact maybe that time was 4 in the morning maybe that time was 3 in the morning maybe that time was 5 in the morning but early in the morning Bible say that the women went to the grave of Jesus it shocked me to know hold on that before Jesus died and when he died they buried him Bible say to secure the grave they placed two soldiers at the gate and there was a big stone that they put there and say and they will say he will come back let's see but it surprised me to know that when the women got there they did not see the soldiers what ended up upon door I hear no why is when they got there they did not see the soldier there were two people but were not soldiers they were angels of the law to show them the proof to show them the proof I was wondering why the soldiers were sitting there because I remember that at 12 midnight God would stand up and say that I'm ready to show to the world I am the living God what I say is what I do and Bible say I want to believe that he stood up and Bible say at the midnight there was a heaven like me that came down and the soldier went left and right they could not find their way in the grave so the angels the women went there all that beam of what Jesus was making Let's see what I, that you. Because you see, I want to run back to the town and ask everybody for mercy. Because I want to tell them, I will be on one man who will lie. I come and then. I believe some of them went there not because they wanted to see as a what Jesus came up. They wanted to go back and apologize to the family that they abandoned. Because one time Jesus will say, if you must follow me, you must neglect your man. You must neglect your pa. You must neglect your wife. You must neglect your children. I believe some of them left their wives. Some of them left their husband. And they want to go back and say, sorry. I follow the liar man. What called Jesus but when they got there there was a question that blew my mind the angel asked a question why are you looking for the living ah, why are you looking for the living I cannot tell you something right now anybody that want to kill you 
and said you will live in the grave if i hear your amen they will not find you there i said they will not find you there they will not find you there from there yeah. the whole state there. I don't know about you but I'm excited of the evidence that I have I can't tell Shia we don't serve the dead God we serve <laughs> Say the couple. My mama, go on. Say it, and I'm not. Say it, I'm cool. She doesn't raise it. She doesn't raise it. I wrap up now. The story I told you a top dog detective one year. Oh, to unveil a killing case. I just received a revelation while I was standing on the altar. Why did they take Jesus three days? Because he wanted to complete the Trinity. The Father, the Son, the Can I end the service here right now? Can I end the service here right now? 
I don't know about you, but you see, they prove why I can. I'm happy with it because there is no lawyer or there is no judge that can say my proof is not strong enough. My proof is capable to bring the man from the darkness into his marvelous light. My proof is strong enough to take the unbeliever and make him a believer. My proof is strong enough to use my mess and forget my mess instead take the best my proof is strong enough can you knock somebody and say i get the evidence stand up quickly that any sense you are jesus is and jesus is jesus is
don't know where you are, just lift up a voice and begin to thank the Lord that he has given you a proof that is undoubtable. Begin to thank him that you have the proof that is beyond the session of man. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. We have the proof. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. By the power of God. Shake somebody and say, Congratulations because you won the keys. No, do it. Say, Congratulations because you won the keys. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Again, happy Easter. Happy Restoration Sunday. Jesus did not leave in the grave. Pick up your words. See, they are close. They say, finish with chest for today.